Cut the music, man. We need to go ahead and cut the music. Never mind. This is my last, my last first reaction. We're gonna go ahead and let it rock for a little bit. We're gonna see what it do. Rate the episode, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Got about 15 bodies dropping. You know what I mean? to the channel i'm Modi j this is the first reaction to episode five of power book four four season two now i want to see everybody come on in here everybody oh they might be canceling four sports this week where the fuck are they at where are they at they ain't nowhere to be found we got about 15 body drop after six i said i gotta rewatch the episode i got about in, in just that one little shootout i got about i got about 10 got about 10 there Claudia catching bodies. I said, oh, okay. Okay. We got the RD crew, Kilo and them. They catching bodies too. Kill the damn cook. Cook ain't hurt nobody. Cook ain't hurt nobody. Man, I said, ooh, wee. Okay, power. Jannard is back. What have I been saying? Jannard is going to be back with CBI. It's CBI business. Shout out to my dog, Big Smurf, getting the little D back off the streets and getting them to scoop. Damn it, when I tell you I'm good, I'm good. When I tell you I'm good, I'm fucking good, man. Jeez Louise, we're back, baby. We back. Somebody on that shit, though. But he did lose the chain. But he on that shit, though. But he's back. CBI business. Now, y'all been sleeping on Vic. Oh, uh, Vic. But if you remember, just on Monday mistakes, I told y'all, Vic is the most important person. And everyone was like, I don't know, Mo. I don't know. But he is. Because he got all the information on everybody. And everybody's going down. 
Ooh, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I, hey, power y'all. I got this at like a nine, a nine and a half, nine. They doing a good job. They keeping the bodies, but it's subtle. It's not like we just about to be just doing random killings. It's a time and a place. Even Miguel's out here getting even with, I don't even remember the dude's name, Kenneth or whatever his name is. Oh, my God. Oh, we said, we said initially that Kate was going to be on that stuff by episode three, but we changed it to uh, Jannard. We changed that to Jannard. So it only took five episodes. It only took five episodes for Kate to get back on that shit. And we know over on my channel, on my channel, what do we know? Once a junkie, always a junkie. Kate on that stuff. Episode five. Dang. Dang. It only took five episodes for her to get back on that. But guess what, though? We cannot, we cannot blame Kate. We cannot blame D-Mac because I keep telling y'all, Tommy is the reason all of this shit happened. There wouldn't be no gun in the house if Tommy didn't bring it. Even JP said, all this is because of you, Tommy. Even Diamond said, all this is because of you killed Chewy, Diamond. I mean, uh, Tommy. It's all back on Tommy. But they doing a hell of a job with this. Man, they took Walt out. They got Pauly up out of here. I thought Pauly was actually going to help. But Walt did tell him, man, your sister played you. Oh, I said, oh, man, this is good. I ain't going to lie. This was good. This is what we're expecting to see. This is what we're expecting to see. When we watch Power, we turn on Power, we like, all right, what they going to show us? It's got to be something good, man. It's got to be worthwhile. And let me tell you, I ain't going to lie to you. I was laying back chilling. I was watching. I said, oh, wait, let me sit up. This shit kind of cool. You know what I mean? This shit kind of straight. Then... Oh, Claudia is pregnant by Doyle. Doyle is gone. And I told y'all Dublin ain't going to ain't gonna want to fuck with her. So now she got the kid of Doyle, which is technically next in line for Dublin. And now Vic is in charge, but Vic is flipping, turning on his sister. But he got to get information on Tommy Egan. Oh, man. What up, Tracy? What up, Tracy? Make sure y'all hit that like button. I know y'all be coming in here sometimes. We all get excited. I understand. But make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Man, this is another another good episode. These last two episodes, this is what you call bike to bike. Now, if you can get bike to bike episodes, that means you're on the road. Typically, you get one good episode, then you're like, ah, we get another, and it's all right. But yeah, 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 this is good. This is good right here. All right. Put who you think the VIP was. You know what I'm saying? The VIP. Now, you got an MVP. You got the MVP. We know who that is. We give MVP to Vic. Even though Vic was telling, we still give MVP to Vic because he got he got pops on out of here. And the reason I give him MVP over Tommy is because if Tommy was really like that, Tommy would have got D-Mac up out of here. But he took D-Mac to school. So when I say VIP, I'm talking about, you know what I mean? They just they just doing what they gotta do, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really flexing or nothing. I gotta give that to Diamond. Diamond helped his brother out. We all wanted Jannard to turn his life around, but that wouldn't happen unless Diamond was in his life. We heard that Sid said, Hey, take care of your brother. Take care of your brother. Now it can't be Polly. Polly in the water. Polly in the water. Polly can't get any accolades, any awards. He gone. They took all that. When he fell in that pool, it was over with. We don't care about Polly no more. He's gone. We thought he was a loyal character, but guess what? It's all a part of the game, and we don't give a F no more. <laughs> nah, Vic ain't the VIP. Vic is the MVP. I give Vic the MVP because he got the shit cracking. He got the shit cracking. No one thought that he was going to be capable of doing what he did. Dublin, yeah, Dublin lost shit. Big Red, Big Red, who did he kill? Big Red killed Polly. No, Big Red didn't even kill Polly. One of, I think, Goon Number Six killed Polly. He popped Polly. Polly dropped. Big Red jumped behind the fire. They was on his ass. They knocked him out. Walt came and got rid of him. Walt caught like four bodies. Polly caught like three bodies. Man, it was a lot of shit going on. I gotta rewatch all of that. Yeah, Dublin, they can go ahead and they can go ahead and give it up, man. We don't want to see Dublin no more. 
I'm glad they got rid of that whole storyline. They don't. They shouldn't have any more top assassins. They shouldn't have the four horsemen. What did he say? He's Armageddon or some shit. Got his ass up out of here. He come from behind the fire with no bullets. Talking about, oh man, and he gets shot down by Walter for fifty yards away on the other side of the swimming pool. He gone, man. Dublin, eh, no disrespect to Dublin, but Dublin was trash. <laughs> Dublin was trash. Damn, Dublin ain't on with two. Dublin, like all them niggas that came with Big Red, them niggas is Dublin. We gotta, nah, they owe 40. They owe 40. And we're gonna go ahead and that girl that got shot, whose dad name was Felipe, we're gonna go ahead and add her to the list of people that didn't make it. We gotta put them on the list of people that didn't make it. What y'all think, man? Do y'all believe that Walter knew this whole time that the kids were turning on him? Do you think that Walt knew that at some point in time, he's going to have to watch his back because of his children? Now, I know I keep making videos saying, man, they got to be the biggest liability and probably being a father. You know, they always say being a father, a mother, a parent is a gift. But when you got Claudia and Vic as your kids, she never told Vic. That they were coming. Brandon Doyle was like, I told you, you supposed to tell your brother. She got mad because he was about to expose everything and she didn't want nobody to know that she actually wanted Vic to die. And this is all because we know that Dublin is not about to take any kind of orders from her. I said, damn, man, why? Why the good got to die young? But now Vic's in a situation I don't know if Vic's going to be able to get out of. If you guys had to choose, who do you think is going to go after Vic once they find out that he's working with the police? Because if they're working with the police, Vic is in there. He has to get back in CBI, so he has to figure out something that he can tell Tommy. Because we know Jannard back. Oh, Jannard and Vic back on the same squad. Jannard's probably going to be the one to find out, to be honest. See, I'm going to go with a different route. Everyone's saying Tommy most likely. I'm going to say Jannard does it to prove himself to CBI to get back in there. Even though he don't, he still don't like Tommy, I think he's going to be the one to do it. He needs to be. He needs to be. Damn, they got Brandon Doyle out of here. They got Walter Flynn. Hey, Claudia be getting some bodies, though. What y'all think about Claudia's? You know what I'm saying? Up close and personal. Boom. Rock of my baby. What you think? Was Claudia, was that cool? Was that cool? Because that's what, three confirmed bodies? Well, technically four, because I don't know who really killed Liliana. I got um, got the girl from first season, Stank Butt, Brendan Doyle, and allegedly Liliana. Milet. That's what the name My Let. She killed an unarmed man. Now he wasn't on arm. He had his, he had that thing on his hip, didn't he? I don't know. I can't remember. I thought she was going to try to shoot him when she hugged him. I was like, damn, she about to try to shoot Vic in the back of the head. Damn. See right here, I thought she was about to shoot him in the back of the head. The crew said, nah, she got four bodies. I, I'm just saying, I, I, I don't know if that, if we can give Liliana that to, to, to Claudia. I can't remember. We don't know who did it. <laughs> nah, Claudia gets up close and personal. One thing I'll say about Claudia, though, even though none of us like her, it's hard to make her story pan out good because you know it's going to end bad. But with Claudia's character, she won't hesitate to get rid of somebody. Now, does she think it through? No. Does she have a strategy? No. Is she planning this out? No. Is she ready for her next move? No. Is the next move her best move? No. Claudia's just going to do what the fuck Claudia does. She jumped on Brendan Doyle, got knocked up, and she thought that she was about to, hmm, what's the next plan for the Flynn villain? That nigga said, man, they ain't fucking with you. Damn, they said... They said they were moving their head up from 9 to 8.30 because of the fog. Uh, Y'all need to be discreet anyway. What do you mean because of the fog? Y'all need to be entering into the house during the fog. 
That's low key messed up, man. They got really dead. That's fucked up, to be honest with you. Walt was a bad guy, but Walt ain't that bad. Do you guys believe that Walt was bad enough that they had to take him out? I mean, I know they wanted to take over the organization, but do you think that was a little too far? They couldn't just talk to him or try to do their own thing? Well, we know Claudia is lazy, and Pops already cut her off from the bread. They could have kept Walt around for a little longer. Man, Walt went out there with a shotgun and was walking him down. Why we got to get rid of him? Damn. I'll tell you this. Jannard uh, acting his ass off, though. Jannard doing his thing. Every time you see Jannard on, you're like, all right, cool. I ain't going to lie to you. When they were up under the bridge and Big Smurf tell them this ain't your hood, I was like, that was a good scene right there where they hopped in the truck. But you know he on that stuff because he took the chain and everybody knew who chain that was. Damn. This is where we almost seen the end of our boy Jannard, man. It was going down. But no one seen her getting robbed in broad daylight. Big Smurf scene. Big big Smurf seen Jannard come through. That girl came over to talk to Smurf. Smurf, he forgot all about Jannard not even being from the hood. That nigga turned around so quick and walked off. Shout out to Big Smurf. We're going to have to bring Big Smurf over here to see what him and D-Mac were talking about on the ride up to the school. You know what I'm saying, Paul? But yeah, we might need to get our CBI update. Big Smurf, if you're out there listening, brother, tap in. We're going to need that update. Maybe on, maybe on Monday. Maybe Monday we bring you back and we talk some CBI business. You know what I mean? I got the inside plug. I got the inside plug. They be telling me, Mo, you don't know what you're talking about. Mo, you don't know. You just be getting on here Monday mistakes. You just be bullshitting. I'm like, man, I'm trying to tell y'all what I know. And damn, sure enough, Jannard is back. Everybody was looking at the title talking about Crown Vic. I said, nah, man, Jannard got to go back to CBI. CBI. So that's probably why, Bi okay, Big Smurf makes sense. Jannard said we don't have to wait till seven or eight. He said be on the lookout for Jannard. Big things are about to happen for CBI. Man, we got the gang back together. CBI, the Treehouse Boys are no longer in existence. Well, it was the other three dudes. Because remember, he brought two bricks. He got the two bricks that he got from here and talking about we back on. But I was like, uh, it's six of us. Are we splitting the bricks, what, in threes? And we just all going to get a third of a brick and go do our thing? What are we doing here? Like, how is this going to work out, uh, Janard? <laughs> damn this shit hey i ain't gonna lie to you I, I i like where this story is going man do we think that uh let me see do we think that kilo is gonna be a problem or kilo gonna be cool we're gonna get this thing up and running off the ground because they brought him back up and i've been saying what are we gonna do with the prison i know brillo he said if they go back to prison, that'll work. Well, that, I mean, that'll definitely work because we got Rojas in there and now we got Kilo. Oh, no, man. Kilo talking about he want 50% of everything. How you getting 50% when we, we the one bringing all the work in? You ain't getting no work in. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. At least we got, at least we got something going on on the inside. Now I don't know. If they shouldn't. If Kilo is gonna have a problem with CBI, the RD boys and in, in CBI, or they they need to chill for a little bit. At least get them a couple of episodes. They working with each other. Remember Rojas and them did that, and we never heard what happened to that little boy in the bathroom. Remember Tommy stabbed up that young man for no reason. Tommy killed that man at the zoo. He was up there with his girlfriend and his kid. Tommy killed that man over some bullshit. Man, Tommy is a villain, man. Tommy is a villain. Make sure y'all hit that like button. We can get, we got 75, 78 in here. Yeah, go ahead, hit that like button. Let's get it up to 60 likes real quick. 60 likes real quick. I think Kilo's going to be a fucking problem, man. I want to see him, you know what I'm saying, work it out for like two episodes, three episodes. Everything's going good. Hey, we dropping that money off. I don't know, man.
It's just something about that prison, man. Don't nothing ever go as planned, you know? Damn. Rojas is supposed to be coming home. I think Tommy might take him out. They 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 mentioned a release date or something. I know they said if he uh got caught with the drugs, she was gonna give him another year upstate or wherever the fuck they were gonna send him. But they said he was coming home soon. Yeah, I was trying to figure out. So it's 71 block in RD. So is RD with Kilo? Is Kilo RD and then the, the 71 characters? They were the ones that did the shooting. Because that's real disrespectful. If this little bitty organization that nobody knows about is pulling drills. If these no names are pulling drills on potentially one of the biggest drug operating rings in Chicago, it's like, man, y'all might need to step it up a little bit, Diamond. And you gotta you gotta quit going to the same diner. Who you think you are? Frank Lucas? You ain't putting enough work to eat at the same diner every day. Man, that motherfucking chef caught one to the chest. He was over with. The lady was putting up a fight, but the chef, he got here. He was just like, yeah. Tell my wife. I left everything in the kid's name. Damn, man, he did his wife dirty, man. They didn't got the chef up out of here for no reason, man. Damn, ain't that something? Y'all think they're gonna be a problem, or they just gonna go slide next week? Next week they can go knock them off, get them out of here, or bring them in on CBI. I'm I'm pretty sure they'll just join CBI because no one's really getting work in the streets. Jannard only got his work because he had to steal it from old girl. That's Gray Skull people. I know Gray Skull went off and formed up his own little crew. That's what Diamond was talking about. Everybody broke off because they've been at it for a while. But, man, I don't know. My thing is, Tommy and Diamond are too far in the game to be worried about these low lives. They only buying one or two bricks. They ain't getting no money like that. They ain't getting no money like that. Who, who are they getting it from? Miguel ain't supplying them. The Serbs ain't fucking with Negroes. Tommy and Diamond ain't giving them no where are they getting their work from because Rojas and Kilo both need to get their work into the prison from Tommy and Diamond. Who are these kids? Man, you give Marshall $28 and a gun, Marshall will go handle this. $28 for Marshall. Oh, yeah. We'll have this taken care of by COB. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I mean, we're going to see how they play out. Like I said, I'm going to watch the episode again and hear what the hell they were actually saying. But just coming in here and shooting, you might as well run all the way up if you're going to do all of this. But, man, we're not about to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Who we have? It was a regular episode. But, man, it wasn't really, shit, it wasn't really much cracking, you know what I mean? Except for Kenneth showing off that rolly. Hey, what y'all doing? All right. Two hands on the table. Which hand do you want them to take, your left hand or your right hand? Left hand or right hand? Now, I would say left because I'm right-handed, but I drive with my left hand. Do I want to drive with my right hand? Nah, I like to drive with my left. Open up the door with my left hand. Yeah, they're going to have to take the left hand, man. They're going to have to take the left hand. They take my left hand? All right, we'll figure it out with this right one. You know what I mean? We'll figure it out. with. I got to be able to write at least. Then he talking about, man, what did I do, man? Fuck that. And he used his own awards. Medical Doctor of the Year. I know he's probably going to go to work tomorrow, and Mireya's already going to know exactly what the hell happened. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to work. It's going to be about a month before I go up there. Y'all think his hands are broken or they were just bloody? That, that wasn't nothing. 
that wasn't no like no no blunt trauma or anything it was just a little tap on the wrist just let them know hey 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 stop that's hot you know slap a baby's hand when they try to touch the oven hey 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 hey, hey. hot 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 don't touch that just a little slap on the wrist that's all that was i know one thing he ain't gonna be able to slap no booties with them hands <laughs> me ray is not letting him do that no more damn they didn't got our boy man but that's one less thing tommy ain't got to worry about that's one less thing tommy got to worry about because you know tommy was about to get at him too tommy was about to get at him now i i don't know why tommy continues to get involved in all of this nonsense but for some reason he does and he's going to continue to get into this nonsense <laughs> damn Yeah, Mireya at work. You see, old girl was hating too. It's always that hating ass friend. Who you texting? It can't be the doctor. The doctor in surgery. Like, hey, yo, sh chill. She texting Tommy. She texting Tommy. I said, oh, me hey. She's eventually episode six. Tommy. Oh, the Mustang is back. But episode six, she gonna be on Tommy. It took one episode, two episodes. Tommy got rid of that truck and got the Mustang back. <laughs> D-Mac finna graduate and go to Stansfield. Hell no, nah. D-Mac about to get a trade. D-Mac about to become a plumber or something. They sent him off to school. I wonder who enrolled him. I know Tommy didn't enroll him. You know what I mean? Who went up there? Hey, my name is Tommy Patrick Egan, and I'm uh, enrolling my... Well, he probably had JP go up there and do it. That's a quick turnaround, unless they kept D Mac for a couple days. Unless they kept D Mac for a couple days, I don't know how they got him up there. I don't even remember when we seen Tommy's car. Where was oh he was pulling up to the barber shop? Damn. I need to know who Tommy went to to get all these bullet holes out the back of this car. Tommy went to the best restoration people ever. And this has only been a couple of days, man. See, that's one thing Power be forgetting. They be doing all of this, but they know that this is only like the next day, two days later, three days later. You know what I mean? This shit's continuous. This nigga Tommy dropped the car off for two episodes, used the truck. They fixed the car in like four days total. Like, don't even worry about the time. We're good to go. We're good to go. Damn. D Mac was out there talking to the police. Hey, do y'all what y'all think D Mac was saying to the police? Y'all think he was saying something? Y'all think D Mac was out there talking to the law, telling them something? Or they were just out there, you know what I mean? Because Tommy ain't playing this shit. Tommy ain't playing this. And what what did D Mac do that got what did D Mac do that got D Mac caught up? What did D Mac do to get D Mac caught up? We always say something is happening when something is happening. When you need a little something, something is because something, something is going down. Well, D Mac only got called up because he was trying to get some. Every time they in their worst situation ever, it's always them trying to get some. He went with 20 funky ass dollars. He still had to buy a pack of cigarettes. A pack of cigarettes is like 13, 14 dollars or some shit like that. Cigarettes are ridiculous. So with that 20 piece. They could probably go up to Quick Trip. I don't know if they got Quick Trips to Chicago. But at that time of night, you ain't trying to go to no gas station in Chicago. Man, I'm hearing that shit get crazy. But you shit, you can go get two slushies and like a bag of hot Cheetos and a pack of cigarettes for $20. You're not going to get much for $20. Well, he was trying to go hit the block. Show old girl I got the little 20 piece was happening, but got snatched up, man. He didn't even attempt to run, man. 
I don't know how much cigarettes cost, but I know twenty dollars ain't gonna take you far. Not for two people. Not for two people. Shit, I probably get me, yeah, a bag of hot Cheetos. You know what I mean? Hot Cheetos. Uh, she gotta give me something to drink. Probably get like a Gatorade or something. Then they gotta buy Grandma some cigarettes. Shit, hope old girl like Sour Patch Kids. I'll get some Sour Patch Kids. We can split for three twenty nine. But other than that, this $20, we're going to have to make something shake out of this, baby. Plus, I'm trying to keep a dollar or two for tomorrow just in case a nigga get thirsty when I'm out and about. You know what I mean? A little 20-piece got D-Max snatched up and put in school, man. Damn. I don't know. I fuck with it, though, man. This shit good. I like what they doing, man. The story is starting to get more realistic. I mean, of course, we know it's some far-fetched shit. It's Tommy fucking Egan. But overall, the storyline is good. I'm glad that they kind of ditched season one and pretty much coming up with their own storyline. But they just told them that, hey, they got Vic. And they know that, hey, Vic, we know that you were part of that murder of that DJ. Now, Vic did the best thing he could do, ask for a lawyer. But at the same time, at the end of the episode, Vic went to tell us, and I know something about Tommy. Damn. Damn. Hey, Nate, thank you for that $1.99. I've been saying Force the best show in the Power Universe. Nah, whoa, whoa, whoa. I won't, I won't, I won't say the best show in the Power Universe, but this season two is getting good. It's trying to creep up that ladder, though. You know what I mean? It's trying to creep up that ladder. I say, honestly, Raising Canaan in the Power Universe, that's two seasons that I, I say they didn't miss on either one of those. Now, for season one of this, it was kind of, you know, saying kind of behind, but shit, they make enough for it in season two. Of course, Ghost was good two and three, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. I'm enjoying it. What you guys think about the season so far? I know some people were saying like the first couple episodes, one, two, and three were kind of shaky, but it got good at four. What are you thinking overall for the series? Because I'm hearing there's a break. I still haven't confirmed that. I don't even know what. Huh. Let me see if I can even look up episode six. Because they're saying it's a break. Hopefully it is at least a week. But if not, the fuck are we going to do? What the fuck are we going to do? Oh, man. The hood said a 9 out of 10. Don, why they turn Vic a snitch? <laughs> he was cold in this episode. I don't know. Well, he wants to get out the game. I don't know what I don't know what they got him on. But we seen that Vic was starting to be a little weak. I thought we were going to see his arc, you know what I'm saying, and become a villain. But now it's like, eh. Vic talking to the police, man. We know, we know what needs to happen for Vic. We know what needs to happen for Vic. Unless, unless Vic can flip this, Vic can tell on his sister, get with Tommy and link up and get things to crack. It. And he just tells on his sister and gets her up out the way. But this is doing everybody a favor. You know what I mean? But yeah, they got Vic. He's supposed to be crowned Vic, man. He wasn't supposed to kill Pops, man. He was just supposed to take over. I'm not even built like that, Tommy. That ain't even me, yo. Damn, man. They got Vic going out sad. They got Vic going out sad. According to IMDB, there isn't. A... Yeah, what I was looking at, it didn't say it was a break. It said, shit, this motherfucker be on next week. <laughs> Tune in next week for the next episode on Power. Previously on Power. You know what I mean? <laughs> Previously on power, D Mac gets dropped off at a high school. Was well, really a boarding school, but nonetheless, he gets dropped off for fucking up in the streets. Jannard, he takes a hit of the needle for the first time. Tommy Egan, he's one step closer to finding out who killed Liliana. Diamond, <laughs> David, should I say, he doing his thing. Yeah, I didn't think there was a break. 
next episode uh, October six. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't think there was gonna be a break because Raising Canaan don't drop till December, so they're gonna probably have a break at the end of the season in between the two of them, so they don't have to start on uh, not Christmas but Thanksgiving. I fuck with it though. I didn't get to watch the trailer because I started watching the episode late. But yeah, I'm fucking with it, man. I'm fucking with the show, man. Damn. You think Tommy gonna find out that Kate is on that stuff again? Are we gonna find out that Kate is back on that stuff? Now, this was an accident. All she was trying to do was knock the edge off. That's all she was trying to do. It's not like she's really trying to get back into it all the way. From what I from what I was told, it was just a one-time occurrence and it, it won't happen again. You know what I'm saying? It, it won't happen again. It was just to knock the edge off. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. When I get off of here, I'm gonna watch the trailer. I'm gonna break down the trailer. Probably do a recap tonight, too. I don't know. But yeah, man. I gave this episode a nine. I gave this episode a nine, man. I, I definitely enjoyed what we watched. I gotta go back and count all the bodies so we can go ahead and put that on there, man. I think we had like 21, 22 in four episodes. Now we got to add on another what 10 piece, 12 piece. All right, are we putting well, well, we'll discuss it tomorrow. I was gonna say, are we putting that lady that got shot on there? I'm saying she didn't make it. That's just me. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But do you guys think the lady in the hospital made it? No, nah, Zay, now nah, I don't, I ain't do that. I ain't you that. Nah, yeah, now you may have seen me outside on the block, but you ain't see me in that closet. I'm cleaning out my closet. I said, I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry. But tonight, Clay's cleaning out the closet. One more time. Hell no, man. <laughs> Uncle said he can give it a 7.75. I ain't never heard that number. <laughs> 7.75. The only reason I'm giving it nine is because of the storyline and we're pushing it forward. I'm definitely interested in seeing the whole Claudia thing. And even though Vic is a snitch, I'm glad it was Vic and not Janar, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm glad it was Vic and not Janar. I was like, man, they can't have Janar going out bad like that. They didn't already let him hit rock bottom. Let's see him build back up and get back in the game, man. I said they couldn't do Janar like that. They just couldn't do Janar like that. We know K to be okay. We saw her in book two. Man, she was high in book two, man. Y'all, y'all, man, listen. I know what junkie when I see a junkie. K wasn't all right in no book two. K was in there. She did a couple of itches. Remember when, uh, old girl with a little girl name, Monet? When Monet went over there and dropped out that letter, she was like, who is it? K, then you ain't even had my name. K was on that shit, man. K was on that shit. Why was she in New York? Tommy told her to go get her shit. And she trying to move back down there because remember in New York, she couldn't get no more work. She was on that shit. She was trying to get up out of there. That's what she was trying to do. Yeah, remember Monet came over there and dropped off the letter. Monet dropped off the letter. She was on that shit. We know Kate was at the man. If I got the picture, I'm going to show you. Kate looked like a damn fiend. Kate was pale as hell. Well, she already pale, but she was even paler. The sun was on it. It's like, damn, Kate, you all right? You see me? You got some of that stuff. Who are you, Monet Tahada? Like, damn, okay. Okay. Says she didn't got up off that stuff. Kate's supposed to be getting right, man. But all of this is Tommy's fault. Tommy, all he has to do is tell her, hey, I sent D-Mac to the school, but you can't tell Kate anything because she owned that stuff and she's going to run her mouth. Someone show up. Hey, where's D-Mac? Oh, he go to school upstate. We got 100 people in here. Hit that like button. 
hit that like button. Let's get 70 likes in here. 70 likes ain't too hard to ask. If 70 likes are too hard to ask for, then Cash App might be a little easier. M-O-E-D-O-T-J. If everyone sends a dollar, it'll be a lovely day. But if not, if you just hit the like button, it's cheap, it's free. And we're going to be on here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to start this mug a little early, yo. We're going to start this mug a little early. Plus, it's my last weekend, so, you know, I got to do a little something, something before I get up out of here. But, yeah, we got some free time. I mean, what y'all got? What y'all got? What y'all got? Because good old Kate Egan, she on that shit, man. I will say, no, nah, Kendall, see? See, Kendall wasn't watching the show. She said her name was Monet. All I know is a girl with a wig with a, and her name was Monet. I didn't see Diana now. I seen Monet dropping off the letter. I seen Monet dropping off the letter. You see what I'm saying? All I could do is go off of what the show showed me. I don't know. We, I'm trying to prove to y'all that Kate on that stuff. Who was you? Who you looking for? I might need to call Tommy. Like, damn, Kate. Tommy is still wanted for Ghost's murder. Why don't they bring him in for that? See, that's my thing. I don't even know if the task force has even reached out to New York and said, hey, what's going on with him? I mean, he's perceived dead. They know that that is confirmed. But I don't know. They ain't really doing nothing. They ain't really doing nothing. The task force, we thought in the beginning they were all right. Man, they need to just let Bobby DeFranco get out there. Franco, he was trying to ask the right questions. Stacy talking about let him go. Give him a leash. Give him some rope. I said, come on, man. Uh, Shakara, yeah, I can do the uh, Marilyn Mosby on the other channel. I do need to look into it. Remember, the court date supposed to start in uh, October. Unless it's getting pushed back. But I'll do an update on it. See, even Patrice said Kate was high as Georgia Pine when Diana came. She was on that shit. Now, y'all called the lady Diana. I thought it was Monet that dropped it. I heard the lady say her name was Monet. Oh, yeah, Patrice. We I only found out about the whole thing going on in, uh, was it in Baltimore? I can't remember. It was in Maryland, though. The only reason I found out about it is because we own this city and we just followed the paper trail and we found out that there was corruption going on. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, but. What y'all think about Jannar trying to re-up in the middle of the night, man? Got himself into some bullshit. And what was their dad name? Skid? Their daddy name was Skid, wasn't it? Or something like that. <laughs> they had Jannard out there. He said, nah, I ain't got no more. The white boy took the last stuff. He said, hey, oh, white boy. Like, damn, Jannard, you ain't down that bad. He talking about I'm sick. Big Sid. I thought they was calling them Skid. <laughs> Skid, Big Sid. I knew it was something that sounded like that. Damn, man. They had Jannard out there on that shit. Oh, they're going to definitely have to watch him. They definitely going to have to watch him. He got sticky fingers, too. You already know Jannard about to be on some wild shit. He about to be around. Oh, oh and then he's working with CBI. Miguel about to be on his ass. Too. Oh. Damn, man. they Damn, Junkie J. We can't. Once a junkie, always a junkie. Even though he's joining CBI and Diamond's going to be looking out for him, we can't trust them, no, man. Why would they do this to us? Why would they do this to us? You ain't going to be able to lead Jannard around nothing by himself. Hey, where's Jannard at? You have to treat Jannard like a three-year-old. You got to keep your eye on him at all times. What is Jannard doing? Hey, 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 no, no, no. Get out of that kitchen. What are you doing in there? Now, you know you don't go in there where the work is at, Jannard. Go sit down over there, man. Go play the game or do something. Sit down. Read a book. Hey, hey, hey. Get your feet off of that. Read a book, man. All that sniffing and stuff. No, nah, you don't get enough. You need to chill, man. 
You need to chill. Damn, Junkie J. He's back to Junkie J. We took the J off because, you know, he kind of calmed down. But no, hell no. He using needles now. He said, I don't like no needles. Man, he said, man, I'm going to beam you up, boy. He said, damn. He hit that motherfucker. Now with the last we've seen of level-headed Jannard. There may not never be a recovery stage for Jannard, and it's unfortunate that every three minutes and 39 seconds, we're losing the brother to the streets. And I ain't talking about like that dying, but we're losing them to the streets. It's so much stress and trauma and pain. All of this is weighing on his shoulder on top of Jannard's dad just died. Big skid. Big Sid, my bad, Skid. Damn, Big Sid. I be wanting to call the nigga Skid for some reason. Because he's a piece of shit how he treated these boys. He should have been around for him. But no one cuts Jannard any slack. They just call him a junkie. They just call him a junkie. We're going to break that down tomorrow night, though. They call him a junkie, but we got to start looking at Jannard's life, man. This young man had it rough growing up. His brother left him. We know his daddy was in. Well, his daddy wasn't even in the scene. He was just out the scene. You know what I mean? We got to cut Jannar some slack, man. We do, man. He didn't get a chance. He was supposed to go off to college. This ain't supposed to be his life. He's supposed to be in the pros by now, but no. The streets consumed him. In the words of a rapper up in Queens, the streets need a body. The streets need a body. And Jannard, it's on you to step up and catch one. It's up to you to catch one. It's up to you to catch one. Jannard got to catch a body to get right. He got to get rid of Vic. They got to find out that Vic is telling. This is shifting our whole theory. Find out that Vic is telling. Jannard gets close. Bow! Get rid of him. Now we got left is Claudia. And Dublin's got to mess with Claudia at this point. But that might be towards the end of the season. I don't know. I don't know. Damn. Hey, exactly, Elder. Once he got on that needle, it's going to be tough to return back to civilization. Like, you might be gone at this point. You might be gone at this point. There, well, there's really no might. You, you're you done. You know, there ain't no... He said, man, where's Pop said, man? <laughs> the nigga Diamond said he gone, man. He's oh no, like nigga Jannard, you ain't seen dad in years, man. He's oh no, man. He came in here nose just a running. I tell you this though, to be a junkie, this motherfucker Jannard be getting clean as hell. That nigga pulled up with the Gucci on. He went in here and hit a lick with the Gucci shoes on, the jacket and the sweater. With the rolly on. I just want a rolly, rolly, rolly with a dab of wrench. Damn. Hey, Jannard. Well, I don't know, man, because you got them needle arms now. I was going to say, man, if you ain't using that sweater anymore, let me borrow that hoe. You know what I mean? Let me borrow that motherfucker sweater. I got to watch. I'm going to take that motherfucker to the cleaners before I put that mug on. You don't know what the hell Jannard been doing all day, man. Hell no. I'm going to take that shit to the cleaners, but I'll rock that motherfucker. It might be a little stretched out because, you know, Jannard been pulling up and stretching the elastic on the damn sleeves because he's trying to get in that. You know what I mean? I should go get the jacket. Remember, he took the jacket off in the middle of the damn parking lot. We What you wear, 11, Jannard? Yeah, I man, we can get them. Let me see them shoes. What are the 10s? I, I can wear a 10. I can wear it from a 9 to a 12. <laughs> I can wear it from a 9 to a 12. Well, yeah, Jannard. So do we do we believe that Jannard is going to be clean? Or is Jannard going to, you know, kind of relapse? And have to go back out there and find a quick fix? Oh, yeah, Patrice, you know I'm going straight to the cleaners with it. Straight out the oven with it. Is Jannar, is he going to go on the path of getting clean, or do we think that he's going to, just just one more time, not, not saying he's going to be, you know, saying a functioning addict or a functioning junkie. He's only going to do it maybe one more time to just knock the edge off, y'all. Just knock the edge off. See, that's the thing. Y'all don't give these kids. He's just knocking the edge off. We got to believe that he knows that he's in the wrong. One time, that's enough, and then he won't do it no more.
You said Jannard is going straight. <laughs> And hopefully, man, I do want to see Jannard and Diamond link back up, man. Y'all know that hurt my heart last year when I seen the brothers go against each other. And he tried to kill his brother. I like, man, I don't like seeing that on TV, man. I hate that. Like one of the worst things I uh, see on TV. And you know, I like that action. But seeing this moment, and Diamond realizes even Big Sid knew that he had to look out for Jannard. I was like, this is what we needed, man. This is black love right here. This is true black love right here. Because Samson, they don't give up. Mm -mm. They don't give up that easily. And they'll never give up on a sibling. This is the same thing that happened. This is how Jannard got treason. Remember, at the end of the last year, he's like, man, look, we ain't got to kick it or talk to each other anymore, but I'm going to give you half of the territory. You go do your own thing. And that's where treason started. And everybody was thinking, man, it's Team Trees, and man, uh, uh, rah, rah. we don't hear nobody saying Team Trees and no more. You ain't heard no one even mention Trees. Nobody, man, the CBI business over here, man, it's the only way it can be. It's the only way it can be. Now, I didn't ask for this life. This life chose me. Think about it. Jannar's not out here using drugs because he wants to. He's out here using drugs because he has to. He's out here because he has to. Damn. Hopefully, Jannara can make it out of all this senses. <sighs> drugs. And... Look at y'all boy, man. Look at y'all boy. All right, since y'all all, all want to talk, if you're Vic, are you doing the immunity deal? Are you going in here, letting them know what happened, and taking immunity? Remove your feelings away from the show. Insert yourself as Vic's character. Are you going in here and getting the immunity? Tommy then fuck your, ooh, your daddy didn't want you to be in charge, but he wanted you to be in charge. Your sister put a play on you. Glory is gone. What do you do if you Vic? Do you go in there? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help me. You know what I mean? I affirm. Do you go in there? Do you raise the hand and say, this is what I know. This is CBI. This is the inner workings. This is the lieutenants. This is the capos. Big Smurf. Do you go in there and tell on people or do you just take over the Flynn family like a Flynn was fucking supposed to do? That's what I want to know. Do you step up or do you tell, man? Do you step up or do you tell? Do you step up or do you tell? If you Vic, what you doing? I'm kind of thinking, all right, let me see. My sister didn't tell me that they were about to kill me. She kills Doyle when he tells me that she, he told her. Okay, and then my dad said that she was using me. So Brendan Doyle is saying that she did it. My dad is saying that she did it. And I'm realizing she didn't tell me that it got moved up. One, two. I only got five fingers and three fingers outweighs the two fingers but we know that three out of ten niggas is real nigga mo is one we trying to find the other two and vick it ain't you <laughs> vick it ain't you <laughs> no way that nigga said i want immunity that nigga sat down crossed his legs i want immunity <sighs> yep that's what i want i want immunity like uh, vick Do you know what they want you to do for immunity? Nigga, they want you to go back into CBI, man. Your ass been crying this whole time because Tommy knocked off Gloria last year. It's been a whole year, man. I know it's only been a couple weeks in the TV land, but damn, it's been a whole year, Vic. Vic said, I want immunity. I'm going to tell you everything. CBI bet. Say less. Say less. The Flins will be incorporated with CBI by the end of episode six. Damn, man. I can't believe they had Vic go in there, but I appreciated that it was Vic and not our boy Jannard, man. Damn. 
This is about to get interesting. This is about to get interesting. Oh, let me see something. I thought there was. I thought I got the security footage. Man, they pulled up to damn Walter's house like it was damn Tony Montana. I said that was dope. I like what Walter did. I ain't. Th I ain't want Walter to die that early though, man. That's my only gripe. I wanted Walter to stay around to like at least episode seven, seven, eight. You know what I'm saying? That would have been cool to have Big Walt dog. But it is what it is, man. You know, beggars can't be choosers. You know what I mean? Beggars can't be choosers. But, yeah, we got some free time. We got the first reaction. I ain't going to lie to you. Last week, I gave that a 10. This, I, I, I got to get this like a 9. I like the shooting scene. My, my only, the whole Miguel and, uh, I mean, that was cool, but it, it wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary. I, but I guess this is going to be the sister turning on Miguel. This is gonna start. This is gonna start having her driving away and start really being around Tommy. And this is where Miguel and Tommy are gonna really start getting into it. I think that's the only reason they showed us that to begin the Miguel and Mireya separation. Yeah, Hicks, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I like, damn, man, if they could have kept Walt Dog around, that'd have been cool for the family, or had him hurt at least. You know what I'm saying? And then Polly like take care of him, but they got rid of Polly too. Damn. Polly came over here, apologized. Didn't know that that was gonna be his last supper. Demario, this felt like a movie. See, that's what I'm saying. It's got that adult feel. Pause. You know, like raising Canaan, that gives you that nostalgia, that 80s, 90s. You're like, okay, we got a little throwback here. Then we got ghosts and shit. That's like, okay, more like the teenage type shit. You know what I mean? Because we watching them just grow up in front of our eyes. But then this is more, you know. It do kind of give you the OG shit. It do kind of give you the OG shit, but I can't say it gives you the OG shit because the OG shit was his own shit. That was a little something, something. This is straight. Don't get me wrong. But that was a little something, something back in the day. But they definitely are stepping it up with this. I, I, I like it. This, it's more realistic. It's more realistic. You know, last year it seemed like we had niggas just jumping and doing backflips. I don't know, man. It just seems like it's... It's got a better flow to it, you know what I mean? What the young folks say, it's got a vibe to it. You know what I mean? A vibe. <laughs> a vibe. I do like Claudia catching the little, damn, she killed Brandon Doyle. I'm like, okay, I like that. I like that. But I think that she is pregnant, though, because she jumped on that thing. Brandon Doyle, man, he died over here. That's what Missy Elliott was talking about when she said, prank me, y'all. Show me what you got. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh. <laughs> but I don't want no one minute. Ooh. That's what Miss Yelly was talking about. Brendan Doyle went in there, knocked Claudia up, and got popped by the end of the episode. Well, I'm telling you, the Flynn's have to be the, the most unluckiest people to be around. You just automatically know it's going to be some bullshit. Every single person besides Tommy that Claudia has been around has died. Think about it. Every single character around her has died. We talking about Tommy. Everybody that Claudia does business with, we just wait on Mirkovich. What's going to happen to Mirkovich? They get him up out of there. She did business with him. Milet, Stank Butt, Brendan Doyle, Liliana. Everybody that comes in contact with, oh, Walter, remember? They cut, they cut her money off last week. She killed her daddy a week later, a couple days later at a dinner. Who orders a hit and then says the hit needs to be moved up 30 minutes? Hey, order the hit for, make it a 9 p.m. hit. Um, What's the logistics looking like? Can we move it up 30 minutes? It looks like it's going to be foggy out here. What kind of hit man is this that scares some fog? Well, we didn't come equipped with that kind of equipment, uh, Brendan Doyle. We might need to move before the fog. Like, come on, man. If they would have moved when there was fog, they would have made it. Man, Walter looked at the damn camera. You see clear as day out there. They probably should have went with the fog. But they would have fucked around and killed Vic, though. Because <laughs> they would have shot up the whole house. Damn. Brennan Doyle done set these dudes up. Dublin, 0-30. Damn, man. They got the four horsemen out of here. They got the apocalypse up out of here.
two dollars. Hey, thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, Mo. Enjoy your time away. Yeah, I'm gonna be gone for about a week and a half, maybe two, but you know, that's just me. That's me and wishful thinking. You know, I might get there, get the spy, and it might take a minute to because they do move a little slow when it comes to like hooking up the internet and shit. So shit, I don't know. I mean, I'll see what I can do in the hotel that I'm being till I get the spot, but I don't know if the internet gonna be that good. I might have to stream off the phone or something. That seems like it's gonna be boring as hell. But we'll try it and we'll see. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Pin in the chat is my new channel, the more you know. We'll probably do an article tomorrow over there during the daytime. Depending on if I knock out this um the recap and a breakdown of the trailer. But we'll see. Subscribe to my new channel, Demo. You know, we got 200 subscribers over there. It's a more realistic channel where we break down real articles. Sometimes we get body cam footage and we do a little bit of research. You know, we got to do some digging tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern. We got the after show discussion where we're going to break down each individual character where I give you the story behind the story. But just remember, I'm not making none of this up. They say, Mo, here's the movie. Tell them about the movie because they say, don't nobody break a movie down like Mo break down a movie because Mo break down a movie how Mo supposed to break down a movie. You know what I mean? Don't nobody do it like that. But hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the new channel. Join the Discord. It's a good grand old time over there. I mean, we don't talk about nothing. Just chill, kick it. You know what I mean? If you got any movies or any articles, man, just drop them in there. We'll talk about them. If I got free time, you know, I always try to get on here and talk to y'all about something. We got Tubi movies. Shit, they got more Tubi movies dropping all the time. So we good. First reaction, I give it a nine. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern on Mode IJ. Support the channel. Cash apps at the bottom of the screen. Man. This shit good. This shit good, man. Thanks for watching. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers, man. I'm out.